Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today I'm back with another Tim Holtz project and I'm working with Dapper today, the 12 by 12 papers. I've chosen two. I'll show you what we're going to make. Um, we're going to make these little pockets with tuck spots. We've got a pocket at the top, well a tuck spot there, we've got a tuck spot there and we've got a tuck spot there. So we've got three little tuck spots. I just thought they were really nice. This I, I saw this idea on uh, GK's channel. She made them. So I will leave a link to G's channel if you've never heard of her before. She's lovely. She makes some lovely things. So I'll leave a link to her channel. Uh, yeah, I just thought they were nice. I thought it'd be a nice way to use the paper because um, they're quite tall. You can have them as tall as you want them really. So I've chosen two pieces of Tim Holtz paper from that dapper and I've chosen these two not overly fussed with that one and uh, this one's not too bad I'm not fussed on both sides of that if I'm honest but I don't know whether it's just me I I, I think that looks a bit Christmassy I don't know maybe it's just me so I'm going to use this side anyway and they're really really easy to make all you need to do it's only two folds uh, let me tell you what my measure they measure um, 8 by 12 I've just left the the length because you can you were going to turn them up if you want them bigger you, you know if you want them 12 inches and then fold them and it's six but I thought four inches was just a nice width to go in my journal so we're just going to fold them in half just get my bone folder really really easy you could mass make these but I just thought they were a nice way to use the papers fold it in half and then you're just going to fold it up to as high as you want it. I didn't make this one as tall but I wanted to make the use the papers the best I could with this one so I'm going to turn it up up to about there and then there's a decent it's a decent size pocket let me just see what that measures make sure it'll, it will fit in a journal yes just over seven inches so I'm just going to use my bone folder And then uh, I don't think G put any thumb notches in hers, but I'm going to put a little thumb notch at the top. She says when she can get it in. And then I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to use my sewing machine. Obviously, if you haven't got a sewing machine, all you want to do is glue this pocket, this side down there and then you've still got your tucks open uh, to your three tucks there you've got one at the top there then you've got that second one and then you've got that third one there um, did I put a little thumb notch in that one there let's have a look no I only did two thumb notches and the same with this one we're just going to fold it over yeah I'm not keen I like this side so we're going to go with this one fold it over again give it a burnish it's lovely thick cardstock this to work with so needs a bit of a little bit of um, your bone folder or your end of your scissors whatever you use just for creasing it I'm trying to do them the same so what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to um, go onto my sewing machine and I'll be back in a minute when I've just stitched around them so that's done how easy were them really lovely quick and easy pockets I've not put a thumb notch in let's just see if I can get my Thing in there let's do one at the top as well yeah there we go really quick and easy then weren't they like you could mass make these no problem you could do them all different sizes but I thought they were really a nice size to go in a journal so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the threads a little bit I'm going to leave some hanging but not as long as they are and we're going to do some embellishing got my Tim Holtz goodies while I've been in and got some of them out what I think I might want to use now then I like the front of that pocket I'm not keen on this paper at all so I think I'm going to cover up a bit of it with some book page this one I think I'm just going to do some layering I think on there I don't think I want to cover that up um, obviously I'm going to put something there we are going to have something in that pocket because we've got that pocket there that tuck there and that tuck there but if I just put something just something there so let's have a look then let's do this one first let's get some scraps and these are just strips of paper so I'm thinking I might be able to use one of the book pages 
don't know if it'll be wide enough for what I want to cover. No, some of the papers I really love, but there's some that I just I'm just not keen on. Um No, I think I need a bigger book page. Let me just grab my book pages down and grab, grab something a bit bigger. Uh, which one should we have? I'm trying to find a grungy one. There we go. And I'll do. I'm always worrying foot pages and whether they've got any words that they shouldn't have when you're putting them in your journals. Outside. I don't know what the noise is. Oh, that's far too big, isn't it? Let's just rip it down a bit more. Yeah, a little bit off the bottom. Right, I need something to ink on. I haven't got my mat out, have I? Let me just grab... Um, I'll just use this master board just to ink on. I don't want to put ink all over my desk. Right, let's grab my ink got some scraps there so they'll go in the scrap box the Tim Holtz scrap box uh, I'm gonna go with walnut stain so let's just go over this scrunch this up a little bit just try and darken the edges up I've got some of my Tim Holtz washi, I've got uh, stickers, I've got some rub-ons here as well, I've not used them yet and I've got out my portraits, thought we might be able to use one of them on here, let's just have a look if I want to put anything else under there before we start, oh I like that, Traveller could stick that up there couldn't I quite like that but I think it gets a bit lost I think it might have to go on a book page uh, yeah I think we could do that but just, just put it on let's just rip the other edge I don't want to put something too bulky at the top because it's going to be having stuff coming in and out of the you know the the top. Let's just ink over here. Just ink around the edge. Are you all okay, guys? <coughs> I hope so. <coughs> Excuse me. I keep going hoarse today. I don't know why. Right, let's stick this on there. That little traveller. goes nicely with that paper put that there and then we'll stick that and do you know what I might put I was going to put some brads in but will it interfere with the pocket let's get my little brads out and let's have a look if we've got some small ones Yeah, we've got some tiny ones there. Let's get two of them out. Oh, I flung it somewhere. Just pop them behind me because the last thing I want to do is knock them off and have to pick them all up. Right, should I go through the... Yeah, I'll go through both sides. So I'm just going to get my little sponge thing and try and put it in there. Just whilst I use my pokey tool. I'm going to put one there right let's see if we can get these little oh, I've not put the I'll go through with that one again in a minute let's put this one in first just open it at the back it, it shouldn't interfere with anything coming in and out I wouldn't have thought right let's just see if I can punch that through I don't want to go through the back piece as well there we go I've done it 
don't know how I'm going to fasten it mind sorry you can't see I'm just faffing with the brad at the back you know opening there we go yeah that just adds something else doesn't it them little brads there just like that right let's put something else on here then what do we want down here um what do I want I don't know is the question I've got so much to choose from got a big clock there I'm just wondering whether to cut that in half Piece of the clock there like that and save the other half and then just do a bit of layering that's too big what's these little ones here I could do some stamping in there and we've got a traveller we could put that flag there couldn't we because we've got traveller at the top yeah, let's put that flag down first and then we can work around that. I am going to go over it because I don't like the, the colour really. Put that down. We'll have to go that way with the Union Jack, won't we like that? And then let's put some ink around this one. glue on stick that down there and then what else do I want shall we have some washi let's have some of this ABC washi tape on the edge there I'll just cut that off right where do I want to put my washi I'm going to put it there like that and then I'm going to put that one on there but I want to put some stamping on there and um, I didn't get my script stamp uh, let's just use this number stamp that I've got here let's just stamp some numbers on save me going rooting for me my other stamp yeah I like that there like that and I don't think I want to put I was going to put a word on but I've got traveller there so yeah I think I've got enough on that one I think I'm happy with that um, and I would stick this I'll be sticking that into a page um, I might even just glue the three sides and then have an extra tuck you know at the back as well right let's grab the second one and let's have a look at that where did you put it Alison um, oh it's here underneath the right I'm going to use a paper I put one of these portraits on this one I want something to go at the top there again let's see if there's any any more labels and I think I like that bingo card there or lottery lotto card I think they're called and one of them um, what does that say it's a piece of ephemera but I've no idea what it says but we could do the same there put that on with some brads that little pop of red maybe yeah let's do that let's put that one there and let's put that one down there um, what else do I want to put on there where did I put I just had a oh it's there I'm thinking of one of them bingo cards like that and then one of these portraits right let's have a look which ones we want I think I want a gentleman I want to be able to see the layering put that up there oh I like that that looks nice doesn't it what do you think guys do you think that looks nice yeah let's go with him I like that, I love these portraits, they're absolutely fantastic, great size to work with. Right, let's glue these, do this bit first then. Oh, I'm loving working with this Tim Holtz stuff. But like I said in the last video guys, you don't need it, you can just work with your, your kits that you've got in your ephemera. You can still make the same things that I'm making, you don't have to 
I've all Tim Holtz stuff. I've been collecting this for a long time. Right, let's do this one here. Get two more little brads. found it really hard to cut into the paper I did isn't it silly it's only a paper pad but I thought oh, I can't get any more so but yeah it's silly isn't it I'm not just going to leave it sat on my shelf doing nothing right let's stick this down first yeah but I did find it difficult doing that first cut oh it's silly it really is it's only paper right let's put you up there like that I like the straight edges on this one. I don't often go for straight edges, but I like them on there. And then you there. And then I think I'm going to put him on, and then I'm going to put a bit of washi somewhere as well. No, there's no point buying nice things and just hoarding them, is there? What's the point in that? Yeah, I like that. I love these portraits. Uh, where's my washi? Shall we have some numbers on this one over the bingo card? I think that's what it's called anyway. How do I get in it? Can't find the edge on this one. going on here now oh it's got a um, it's got like a little plastic right we don't need that so let's get rid of that with scissors oh I'll do it in a minute right let's have a little piece of this I thought that was sticky unless you've got to peel it back let's cut a little piece and have a look the sticky back it's washy isn't it yes it does it comes off the little plastic thing I thought so yeah, we'll put that there yeah I think I've got enough there do you think so uh, do we need anything else let's do this top bit now right so I'm going to glue these on first not to do two dimensional because obviously when I'm coming to put journals together I don't want really chunky ephemera so I can't fit a lot in. Right, I'm going to put that there and then again I'm going to try and go through just get two more brats two little ones broken the last thing I want to do is have to pick all them up and sort them all out <laughs> right okay let's just go through there like that put that little brad in open it out if you've never seen them before I'll show you I'll try and hold it up to the camera they're just little embellishments little tiny and they have like a pin and you just open the the two edges out to fix your brad into place if you've never seen them before I don't know because sometimes you get new subscribers that are just new at starting off and they might never have seen them might be so yeah you just pop them in and open the little open them out she says can get into it <laughs> I'm working in the dark here oh I can't see the to open this one Oh, there we go, I've done it. That's it. And I don't think I want to put anything else on there. So that was a nice quick project, guys, wasn't it? How long was that? 21 minutes. Um, I could have made more, um, but obviously I want to use the paper pad. I don't want to do too much of one because there's lots of other things I want to make. Um, and I've used two 12 by 12 papers there. So I think two's enough for today. Let's just get the other one. Um, do I want to put a little quote on there or do I not? 
No, I don't think I do because I've got the washi. I think I'll add too much. What have I done with the other one, guys? Oh, it's here. So there we go then. We've got a big tuck there that you can fit a really nice big journal card in. We've got a big tuck there. And then we've got a tuck there. So yeah, I'm happy with them. Like I said, I'll leave a link in my description to uh, G's channel if you've never never watched it before so there we go then guys that's another project in our tim holt series as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now